On the previous episode, we completed the reciprocal roof sheeting and framed the skylight for the underground Earthbag Muse Art Studio. We receive a surprising call from Susie, an Andorra representative offering us materials to use on our roof. Today, it arrives. Push! Nails. Nails. Got in contact with the Andorra folks and they sent us out a whole bunch just for the Muse Art Studio, so it is something we would have used anyway. What's that? It's the uh, tono. It's a vent. Oh, and there's the ridge piece. Uh, ridge. So we're sure thankful that it gave us some product and um, we're all set. All right, it's awesome. It's really awesome. Very excited. Very grateful, these guys. I'm willing to do this. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Andura roofing is here now, but first thing we have to do is lay the tar paper. Tar paper time. Is up yet? Unfortunately, we ran out of tar paper, so we have to tarp it. And we have to do this real soon because we're expecting some rain, company's coming. We had these great big billboards that we're gonna use to tarp uh, half of our roof. We're expecting some rain and we don't want our uh, speed of to start swelling with water, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and tarp it. He's going up, he's going up, he's going up. Oh, can't take it. He's not moving. Oh, oh. Right up there. The tan. The, the tan. tan, yeah, this is the stuff we're gonna be using. Yeah. This is the Andorra product we'll be using for our Muse Art Studio. And we put it on a couple more buildings already, so it's worked out really well for us. It works really well compared to the metal because you can cut it easier. You're not you're not dealing with the skill saw, the blade backwards, and you got metal shards flying everywhere. It's super flexible, it works well. We have kind of weird bends that happen in our roof. It's so easy to work with. They're all ring shanks with um, washers for waterproofing, painted. That's good enough. We can figure this out now. Oh, we can change this. We can slide it up and down. Yeah, but if we start, we start here, putting up like the first bay, kind of figuring out where we want everything and how we want to start laying them out. Wind starts kicking up. It's looking like it's going to rain. Is it there? Can you? Yeah. What is it? It's my width, your width measurement now. If you okay. could give me that. Is that okay, that Drop line? It. Okay, let me nail this so that I don't lose it. This is what we got to do is sight these. Yeah, yeah go to the right at the top, just a touch. That's it right there. Uh, back a little bit. I'm, uh, there, that's it. That's perfect. At one point, it blew even some of our sheets off. Well, they're tough. Yeah, they are. So we did have quite a bit of wind. Throw together the one bay that we got. As soon as possible, give okay, me I'm, this. I'm so going I... for it right now. Put things away and wait for wait till tomorrow to finish it up. Yep. It's been a couple days, so it was kind of good that we ended up running out of tar paper because we had a lot of wind, so it ended up ripping some of the tar paper off anyway. So let's do this. Let's take and lay one about in here, somewhere from here out, okay? And then we can lay this one down. The uh, Andura folks gave us a, a piece of plastic flashing right. that actually goes down and the Andura goes right over the top of it. So we can seal that all in and then we can just push our pipe up through for our flu and um, you know make our tolerances and everything else so it'll work out great. Under on the top, looks nice. over on the bottom. Uh oh, injury. Uh, You're uh, supposed to hammer the nail, not your finger. So I'm actually the hammer. It's the oh. hammer's fault? Yeah, it's the hammer's fault. It's out of balance. Unbelievable. Sorry, Garen. It's called tools. training. Poor workman blames his tools, Garen. Our good friend Marvin came out to uh, to help us out, and we're very excited to have him out here. He's quite the, quite the carpenter, too. So. Oh, 
Stay for gun. Sure, go to the camera for sympathy. I've seen a lot of kids with saws and crews and stuff that I run and it's amazing to watch these guys use these saws. They're so confident and they're using them properly, safely. Very impressed. I totally did it on purpose. So flexible, and with the kind of roofs we do, <laughs> and so it's really awesome. So we're trying to figure out a solution for this skylight, and I think we might have found one. As we're, we're thinking about taking the, the leftover ridge cap that we have and just taking and setting it on the skylight and just bending it around. Do you think there. that'll work? I think it's the best idea so far. If it leaks, we'll blame it. If it leaks, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> You guys are the deciders of this. It's because of the caulking that we put up. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not my I think fault. It's, I think it's Bryce's fault, regardless. Because I want to run some flashing in here too. Well, the water will fall in there. So. And it bends pretty nice, so we've been just, we're just bending it over one time at a side, kind of getting it to the top there, and just nailing it down, and it really seems to be working quite well. Just running cockle on that side. So that's the last piece. Hopefully we don't have to come up here to fix it in like two hours when it rains or whatever. So now it's time to put the skylight on. So you're gonna run some cock around the outside edges? Is that the flanging? So we can flange the other one over the cock with it? Yeah. And it's getting nailed down. The skylight's on, my friend. And that means our job is done. Really, really liking the way the roof turned out. It's got that nice little curve up at the top towards the skylight. There, the Enduro just, it's just so fast to put up. Kind of goes with our, our non-traditional round rooms and, and funky roofs that we do. First one we did a couple years ago was on yours. my room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's no different from them. the first day we put it up. I know, the color hasn't faded or anything. No, it's, it's really nice. It's real hot in the Southwest, so. The people at Andorra didn't ask us to advertise for them. All they want us to do is send a few pictures of the finished product. But like Gary said, whether they would have sent it to us or not, we still would have went with this roof because it's our favorite roofing material. And I have to say, I really like the tan color and I like the way it turned out. With the roofing complete, we'll be moving inside next. Well, we think. <laughs> be sure to tune in next time. Garen, uh, take off for about five months, um, heading up to do a job. So where are you heading to? I'm gonna be working at a ski resort, just something fun through the winter time. I just wanted to say that it was awesome to hear from Cricket again. Cause we hadn't heard from him, so we didn't <gasps> did know what happened. Did we hear from Cricket? Yeah, I did. Yay! Oh, so good. I'm Cricket. so glad that Cricket's okay. So Yay! <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. We got a request to take down the trampoline. So, Spike Spiegel, this is for you, buddy. 
Bryson is very happy to be doing this today. So it's out of here. No more trampoline. Bryson is working like crazy to fix his drone, and when it gets fixed, we'll be bringing you an overhead shot of the roof. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.